Good morning, Cole Lake High School. I'm Austin. And I'm Taylor with your Double Day 4 announcements. Intramurals continue today with the Potatoes facing the Glybo Gym Purple Berets. And PMS playing Average Joes. Work experience students are reminded to please hand in their student handbook and September timesheet. New timesheets are available in the office from Mr. Hollowoff. Any girls in grade 9 to 12 interested in getting shape for basketball or rugby or just for self-improvement. Join Mrs. Matthews in the Commons area Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30. Be in workout gear and bring a workout mat if you have one. There is an important meeting for boys in grades 10 to 12 interested in trying out for the senior boys basketball team in room 1412 today at the beginning of lunch. There will be a bake sale at lunch supporting the Do Dr. Margaret Savage Crisis Center come out and support a great cause. Now we will talk to Taylor and Mr. Holoboff about the 2014 grad clothing design contest. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. Hallbach, for joining us today to talk about the Grad Clothing Contest. Can you explain the me main reason that you have started this project? Every year we start a project with students that are graduating. This year, the 2014 grad class will be asked to submit designs for grad clothing. And it's just something to mark the occasion of their graduation from high school. And it's, we, they like to have something unique um, when they graduate. And uh, so this year we're asking students to come up with some designs and submit them for um, students to look at and make some decisions on. How do the students become a part of the project and how will they benefit? Well there's some posters around the school so any student can submit a uh, design proposal to the grad class. Um, designs should incorporate some aspect of Cold Lake High School's identity. Um, the chosen graduation theme right now the students are working on choosing that theme and deciding on on what theme they want to represent their grad year um, and of course the year of graduation being 2014. Um, we're asking students to submit the project on uh, unlined uh, eight and a half by 11 inch paper with their name and grade uh, clearly written on the back. What date do the sketches need to be submitted by? We're asking for submissions to be submitted by November 15th. Uh, that provides us enough time then for the grad class to look over the submissions, decide which ones they like, um, perhaps ask the uh, artist to tweak it a little bit, um, and then get those submissions off to a uh, company that we choose to work through to design the clothing, uh, because then the artist drawings have to be rendered um, and the students have to decide what type of clothing they want to purchase so this the first step in a long process in terms of getting the grad clothing uh, for this year's grad class what do the clothing designs need to incorporate um, again perhaps some aspect of the school's identity um, we are the royals um, and uh, so including some you know, aspect of that uh, uh, school culture or identity is important. Um, and again, the graduation theme for this year, if they want to incorporate that, it may or may not be uh, included. Um, and then the graduation year 2014. How should students submit their ideas and where do they submit them? They can submit them to the office um, and uh, the secretaries will put them on my desk. Um, eight and a half by 11 inch paper unlined and make sure that they mark their name clearly on the back. Um, the students do not have to be in grade 12 to, uh, to put forth their ideas. Anyone that is artistically inclined and wants to uh, play around a little bit and come up with a design is certainly welcome to, to submit it. And how, are, how will the winner be chosen? The grade 12 grad class will have some say in that. Uh, we'll narrow it down to a few choices and, uh, and then put it out to the grad class to decide on, on what they would like on their grad clothing. So the deadline for the submissions are November 15th. And remember to have your name and grade clearly printed on the back 
Thanks again, Mr. Hallbach. I'm Taylor with your team White in-house. Have a great double day four. Thanks, Taylor and Mr. Hallbach. There will be a Macbeth rehearsals today at 345 for all Act 4 cast members. Please go see Miss Roberts' door for the list of actors needed. Girls rugby players who are going to California in March, please remember your next $200 payment is due Friday. Please take your check to Mr. Nickel ASAP. The season of big events and Christmas parties is upon us, and there is a need for casual event workers with the city of Cold Lake. The individuals would be required to set up for carnivals, concerts, and parties. Therefore, they need to be able to lift at least 45 pounds comfortably. The starting wage is fifteen thirty-seven an hour. The contact for these positions is humanresources at coldlake.com or call 780-594-4494. Now we will go talk to Austin with our Mach 1 weather. Hi, I'm Austin with your Mach 1 weather report. This shot is brought to you by the Mach 1 Weather Cam. Today's high is 8, winds coming southwest, 12 kilometers an hour, humidity at 73%. Hi, uh, Friday is a high of 9, a low of 0. Saturday, a high of 10, a low of 1. Sunday, a high of 7, a low of 2. I'm Austin, and that was your Mach 1 Weather Report. Thanks, Austin. Today's cafeteria special will be a grilled chicken for $5.00. And beef noodle soup for two fifty. I'm Taylor. And I'm Austin, and that was your RTV News. Have a great day, Cold Lake High School.